What is up? I don't own the rights to that music, and I think we already fucking know that. That was just way too dope, even for my... <laughs> I can't even create no shit like that. <laughs> oh, man. Listen, 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 listen. Chilling tonight. Chilling tonight, okay? I literally just got finished working on a three-day project. Uh, almost finished with a three-day project of a virtual world that I'm building in a different app that I was just streaming on and it, it just uh, not my I mean I, I love the app the app is dope it's just it's Facebook man it's Facebook it's Facebook you're talking about people that come to an app and complain about being essayed virtually in, in, in the virtual world that you can be essayed I kind of wonder, what in the fuck is that shit about? That you couldn't just like, you know, just take off the goggles. Take off the goggles. You see, when I get tired of dealing with people and their stupidity, I just take off the goggles. It's not that difficult. I'm doing it right now. Hold on. I'm doing it right now. Right now. Or. My favorite part is in the middle of a uncomfortable conversation that you could just hit, you know, your buttons and, and get you like you get. You, you, you get out of the game immediately, but. You know, people that can't survive in the metaverse, like they can't survive in the real world, they're not going to survive here. I can't even tell you how many times it. Oh, I can't even tell you how many times that people have tried to been inappropriate do you see me crying about it no i don't cry about that shit but reporters do um i had a rant today a very interesting rant um i normally don't give a flying fuck about these celebrities i I don't care they are beneath me you know i've said that before um I I personally have something to say about this uh Michael B Jordan and um the was it Lee Har Lee Harvey is that her name Lori Har whatever her name is I I have a an opinion on that um why do people think that because you put time into a relationship they hit the 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 one year mark what makes people think that a relationship is still going to continue after you done proposed and didn't want to get married if somebody proposes to me and i don't feel that i'm ready why does that have to mean that there is a situation or conspiracy going on with women you know for some reason women like i've been saying are under attack right women are under attack and when i say that you have never seen this amount of slander and disrespect on a so like on a social media uh situation i mean women are treated like dog shit okay and I don't care how you take it. Oh, well, you, you look at how y'all treating us. Who is y'all? I, I would I would love to figure out like that. Okay. I already know. I see the comments popping up in my fucking brain. Well, you guys say all men are dogs. Very, very compelling argument very compelling argument um so then if men are not dogs all right then why why do y'all call us bitches i mean isn't a bitch a female dog isn't a bitch a female dog so if you gonna call a woman a bitch 
then I'm going to call you what the male version of a bitch is, which is um, a dog. Okay, so l l l let's not go there. Let 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 let's not go there because I know that some I already I already sensed it. Marriage. A person that proposes to you. A person that wants to spend the rest of their life with you. You know, you have some people that have a mentality of, I don't want to waste your time. You know, we're just having fun. And sometimes, of course, in 2022, um, the only way that you are going to stay with someone forever is involuntarily. And that's if you guys procreate. If you have a child and then you guys wind up fucking hating each other and then you, uh, yeah, you got them forever, right? You got them forever. That's the new ring. A baby is the new ring. And a man, a man's ability to take care of his child, especially as a woman's ability um, to take care of child. We all know that women and men, when they have children a child they don't know what the fuck they are doing so that is why the, it is the ultimate test um not even planning a wedding you know at that point i don't know if you guys remember that show i i got i don't remember the title but the bride oh bridezilla that was what bridezilla i i looked at a lot of those dudes and they were like man listen if this is how she's acting trying to plan this shit i don't think i want to spend the rest of my life with this bat shit crazy woman but you can back out of that even though you would be considered the scum of the universe to cancel in between <laughs> the beginning stages of planning a wedding or not showing up to the wedding that would be a waste of time you are wasting everyone's time even the caterer okay yeah they get paid but guess what you're wasting time. Um, so I, I say I'm with it. You know, I'm sorry, bruh. You got your heart broken. But again, um, I hate to say it, but men, just like women, y'all don't properly vet the person that you are with. You have to understand that just because it's fun in the sack doesn't mean that it's going to be fun when y'all get sacked by life. By the cock of life and the cock of karma. You you guys don't understand how that is like a big thing. It is a huge thing. And unfortunately, you have social media that is weighing in on this, saying that I told you it's what these bitches is, huh? She's not ready. She's not ready. Or Perhaps we're not seeing any red flags that maybe she's seeing. Because again, y'all y'all are all hung up on these this man as an actor. You don't know what this dude is like behind closed doors. You don't know if he's verbally abusive. You don't know if he's narcissistic. You don't know these things. But you guys are so quick to... And again, oh my God, I'm blaming the man. Well, I have to in this case, because who got on one knee? If that's the case, because that's the rumor. They're saying that he proposed and she said, nah. I kind of wonder, are women the new men? Are we the new men? Or are women finally just stepping into their power of that warrior blood? Because you know women, we ran tribes. I don't care what anyone says. We ran tribes. We ran civilization. And then somehow or another, the thought got into, you know, again, trying to make women sound fucked up. How do we know that the snake tricked Eve? I wasn't there. Neither were you. But blame a woman. I'm starting to believe that maybe there was no snake. Maybe there was no snake in the Garden of Eden. Maybe Eve was just fucking intelligent as fuck. And it needed to be blamed on a fucking belly beast creature. 
of her intelligence. You know, oh, she ate the apple and gave it to Adam. So then why is it the Eve gene? It's not the Adam gene. I mean, y'all got the Adam's apple. Why would Adam's apple be stuck in your throat for generations to generations to generations then? But the Eve gene also has stuck around because the black woman, we have given birth to every fucking race on this planet. And the way that I look at it, I'm personally tired of the amount of like disrespect and slander that women get just because a couple of women ain't right. Okay. Just like men, same thing with men. All men are not fucked up. All men are not dogs. All men are not evil. There are a few that are. There are. But to hold everyone accountable for what these fucking celebrities are doing is ridiculous, number one. Number two, when you look at, and this is to take, you know, I know there's going to be a lot of people that are going to get upset because I'm going to say what the fuck it is. There is an issue right now where they have literally pit women and men against each other. I have noticed it ever since, probably before, Kevin Samuels. Rest in peace. But they have been pitting men and women against each other, right? Women don't feel protected by men, so they have to act as men. And they lose their femininity in doing so. And men, they get mad because they say we're not feminine and, oh, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're not submissive. What is there to submit to? What, what is there to submit to? I look at these comments and statuses on Facebook of men that want women to cook and clean and be barefoot and fucking pregnant and you can't even fucking rub two dimes together let alone your lips to actually come out your face with this misogyny and level of disrespect to women I think women would be more feminine and loving and open if men were more protective mode Right, you got more foes that can't like they have been trying to take us out of the game, and you have men that just sit back as women and children are being experimented on, their food is being trampled upon. You got mofos running into supermarkets and and and, and school shooting, and and we're supposed to be feminine. We're supposed to do our curtsy. To what? So we gotta honor and obey y'all mofos while fighting the battles too? And again, women can't sit there and say that they're queens and empresses and goddesses because a lot of y'all don't act like that anyway. I can't hold somebody to a high level of respect when you don't respect yourself. I'm just keeping it a buck. And again, I ain't approved, as you can see. <laughs> the fit. <laughs> you see the fit, though? I'm not approved. I keep it real, though. If you don't respect yourself, you can't expect nobody else to respect you. If you don't hold yourself to a level of, you know, goddess energy, who's going to respect that? At the end of the day, once again, women need to be respected just like men do. But you have a smear campaign going on. You can't leave a comment on Facebook without somebody assuming you broke, someone assuming you single, and someone just making an ass out of you and me. Did you hear how I did that? Ass out of you and me is assumed. <laughs> I learned that in, the, in the, I think, the sixth grade. My teacher said that. I was like, oh, my God, this bitch cursed. We got to do better. The next fucking generation is depending on us. 
and all they see is a bunch of men and women that fight and hate each other and disrespect each other and hurt each other legally, financially, emotionally, physically. It's a damn shame. But let me be the one to say it. There's going to be one person or a few people are going to sit there and talk about some bullshit that nobody asked. But um, honestly, like you guys, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all have to get it together at, at some point. At some point, um, we're going to have to sit, sit together, like at a, at a council, like, like on, on, on some crazy shit, like, like a council meeting. Can you imagine, um, a council meeting, like at a table like this? Can you imagine that? I'll be the head of the table, but let me tell y'all something. Life is too fucking short, man. Life is, and the camera will be panning like in a movie. Life is just too fucking short, man. We got to do something about it. We got to come together. Yeah, I got too much time on my hands. <laughs> yeah, so um, I just wanted to get on here and say that. That's my rant. Got to do better. Like, all of us have to do better. Time is running out. But all I got is time. MVR. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Ooh, a hot tub.